Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So excited to be here and such a privilege to pray you through scripture. Right now we're in the book of Acts. And uh, one of the things that you can do to support the podcast is to jump on over to my Etsy shop, marydemuth.com. No, wait, that's not it. <laughs> Etsy.com slash shop slash marydemuthart. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Uh, there's lots of different little pieces there. And one in particular I, I talked about a couple days ago, the scripture art, where I have 31 days of scripture that I've illustrated on little cards that you can place in your purse or um, might fit in your wallet and uh, or you can hand it off to people who might need some scriptural encouragement. All right, so we're in Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 11 in the ESV, the English Standard Version of the Bible. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, there was a dun-dun-dun at the end of uh, chapter 4 where we see uh, Barnabas selling some land and bringing it to the apostles' feet. And then we have this interesting story. So it says this, But a man named Ananias and his wife Sapphira sold a piece of property, and with his wife's knowledge he kept back for himself some of the proceeds and brought only a part of it and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard of it. The young men rose and wrapped him and carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened, and Peter said to her, Tell me, whether you sold the land for so much? And she said, Yes, for so much. But Peter said to her, How is it that you have agreed together to test the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. Immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. When the young men came in, they found her dead, and they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear came upon the whole church and upon all who heard of these things. Mind if I pray for you? <clears throat> Jesus, I have often puzzled over this story. It seems harsh, and it seems scary, and it seems confusing and difficult. But yet, Lord, one thing I love about it is it does talk about and show your holiness. And as I look at um, what this couple did, it wasn't that they sold and brought, of course, it's that they lied about it and that there was probably some pride involved as well. So they wanted to look like they were Barnabas. They wanted to look like they had um, been like this awesome son of encouragement too. And they could have simply just said, hey, we sold the land, we kept some for ourselves, and here is you know what's left and we want you to have it but they didn't they lied and Lord as this church is in its embryonic stage um, your church is being built on the foundation of the Apostles and the foundation of Jesus Christ and of course the foundation of the Holy Spirit because this book of Acts is about the acts of the Holy Spirit we've seen it um, said that it's the acts of the Apostles but really it's the acts of the Holy Spirit and so to lie to the Holy Spirit um, in the very first stages of the church was a big, big deal. Forgive us, Lord, in light of that. Forgive us for thinking lying is no big deal. Forgive us for treating, um, for treating you with contempt in the way that we try to hide from you. And Lord, um, I kind of see it also as I look back in the, New, in the Old Testament of the book of Genesis. This is precisely what Adam and Eve did. They uh, did something wrong, then they hid it, and then they hid themselves. And the only thing that could save them was another, um, was the killing of an animal to cover them. And Lord, this is just, this is the beginning. This Genesis story is the beginning of our whole story. And this Acts story is the beginning of this whole church story. And so you just see these beautiful parallels there. So Lord, thank you for showing me that and for showing us that, that there's parallels in the beginning of time and the beginning of the church. Help us not to take lightly the holiness of you. Help us to live with a truth 
Lord, you are truth. Jesus, you said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. Lord, we forget that you're truth, truth personified. And we pray today you would search our hearts for any untruth and help us to confess our lies, our half-truths, our white lies to you, to be cleansed as far as the east is from the west, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I'm grateful that uh, you're spending this time with me, and so thank you. I hope that today is a day full of delight and that you sense the nearness of Jesus.